Well, welcome back everyone. Today, we're gonna to start off by looking at the results of a little bit of automation we did. I set up these pipes, we just have servos that are powered on here, and I have two apiaries and two bee houses. And uh, let's see what the results are. I haven't actually checked myself, I just went AFK in my house for about maybe an hour, a little more. Uh, and so here we've got these unusual drones. And oh yeah, we got three combs here. And here we've got the forest. And we've got three more perfect. So, and when this fills up with a stack, we're also going to get the excess bees in these chests. And here, oh, I saw no queen earlier, did I? Ah, so I guess we can't pump out of bee houses. I feel like I did read that some time back. Oh, we got two combs from one cycle, anyways. Um, cool. So bee houses. I'm not sure exactly what the differences are. They might produce more, I think, but you can't interact with them, or something like that. I'll do more research, but for now, we'll just use these apiaries. Uh, these guys are just making these combs. But for now, I'll just leave all this set up here, but manually reset it for the moment. And let's take all these combs we got and centrifuge them. We got some more here, and we got more here. Perfect. I don't remember exactly what these give, but I'm going to stick these in here for now. And we're good on power. So let's uh, analyze these bees. I already have five, um, I believe, yeah, five honey drops in here. Let's check out, what is this guy? Common and meadows, okay. And this is common and forest. And what do we, we have in here? We've got these forest cultivated mixes and over here we've got forest meadows, forest common. Well, that's like a pure cultivated, but I think it's not the same stats everywhere. Um, so let's let's just try mixing these and see what happens. Um, the commons might override, or the forest and the meadows part might mutate once more. Oh, also, <clears throat> excuse me, in here I did have, uh, what are they called, frames, which you can't put in these bee houses, by the way. So those did run out over the hour. So let me get those back. I have, I believe, enough more, because I made them for... The, the bee houses before realizing I couldn't use them. Uh, but let's just keep these guys running for the time being and keep getting more more honey as a result. This is going. I still don't fully understand what's happening here because I should get five honey out of this. Or does this not give honey every time? Let's check. Oh, it's only 90%. Okay, so I might get really unlucky here. Let's see, how's my, oh, I should probably put some more power in. Um, wow, I only got two from five. That's that's really bad luck. Anyways, let's go check out these guys here. This was from the first time. Well, let me grab, oh, <laughs> mouse. Grab these, put it in so we can analyze all of them. So this was from the common meadows. Perfect. We got forest meadows, meadows common, and forest forest. The forest meadows, I'm gonna mix with the meadows common. And let's just see what happens there. I don't have mutation or frames at the moment, the, the soul frames, but that's okay. Forest, and this is meadows common. I'll put this guy here, and we'll put, yeah, those don't stack, put those there. Whoa, getting some weird, weird turning lag right now. Um, this is almost done. Those will finish up very quickly here. And we got one more honey. All right, so we got three more. Get those running. So what I want to do, I'm going to have to replace these, of course, with apiaries. Oh, we got another honeycomb already. Pretty nifty. Oh, we might be able to see this happen in a moment here. Um, so the servo we have here is pretty slow, which is desired. Actually, I can just do this. And um, not desired, but that's just because it's the baseline tier. I need to start getting a macerator and stuff set up if I want to do anything past past this uh, small servo in this direction here. But um, it does the trick. So when this finishes up here any moment now, perfect, you can see they slowly get sucked out. And this should go up to 58 in a minute, but uh, it takes a while for them to get there, and then this other guy should come back in. 
Perfect. Um, there are blue transparent versions, but they're harder to make and they lag more or something like that. Um, but so what I'm going to do, actually, I'm not going to put these um, these guys in bee houses because I feel like you can't mutate in a bee house. I feel like I read that. Don't quote me. But when I was looking it up a couple, a couple weeks ago, that might have been the case. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to want to make two more apiaries and set all of these up on loop like we have over here. So I'm going to probably make a big, because I need like three blocks. I could probably even just condense chests because it doesn't matter if they mix. Three block wide space. So we can do that like right here. And actually I should do it right here so I don't mix up these. So I don't have to move them. And I'll do that and get right back as soon as I can. Actually, let's go through making this together. Uh, just so you guys understand how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the seed oil, put it in here. Uh, I'll grab my water back. Just need to do that to make a couple more apiaries. And that should be good to make two, which is perfect. I can turn that on, start sucking EU. Uh, and I wonder how much these guys store, because they do store some. And it would be nice if I could just leave this on, and it would go up to some storage and then stop. But um, this should make two here. Uh, and it could be make four from the seed oil, but we only have enough logs at the moment for two. And I only need two. Actually, I have logs here, but don't need them. I'm going to turn that off so it doesn't fill up an immensely huge amount of RF, because I do move this around sometimes between the different machines. And I'm too lazy to make two more. <laughs> it's not that hard. But, um, so let's, let's grab this guy. We want an axe. All right. Those aren't done. So let's say we put the apiary right here. We're going to need to take out this block. And we need a lever. Which I'll grab. Um, that's not first, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our, our bees in here. And we need our item ducts. So these go on top like this to feed back in. And then I'm also going to put them out here for a chest. So let's make one of those. Come on, there we go. So I'm gonna put this like this. And then what we need to do is make a servo to suck this out. I don't think I have any left. I do have iron nuggets though, which I need. Uh, so let's go make some of that. Got a little bit more iron nuggets. Need a piece of redstone. And I think we have one more piece of glass somewhere. Yeah. So the way this works, I think, is there a shift click thing? Ah, I need iron. Let's grab those two pieces. Oh, this is all. Oh, you don't you don't smelt that? Okay, didn't know that. Anyways, let's. So I do that. Oh, perfect. And then I can make one of these. So then I go back out. Sun's about to go down, but that's okay. And I can go and I can place this in here. If I want to take it out, I can do that. And it also, I can place it on the edge here, which does nothing, or it might do nothing. I'm not sure how that works exactly. But you need to place it there. And then to actually get it to pump, you need to power it. So now that it's powered, it's just going to, the second these finish, pump everything in here. And any time a comb shows up, it's going to end up in this chest. It's getting dark, though, so I'm going to go sleep and move the rest of these over. And I'll see you guys later. One thing I should also probably mention is that when you're going here and you're trying to put all of your item ducts together, they'll connect, which we don't want. Um, so you can just basically right click with your crescent hammer in the middle and then I'll disconnect them. And then you have the system separated. I also could make trap test chests, yeah, trap chests, excuse me, but I'll probably just put them down here and that way we disconnect. Um, but the next item duck then is going to go up like this and I'm going to want to disconnect here, disconnect there so that we keep the items separate. I mean, it's not too important, um, but it'd be nice to see like how much these two produce, how much these two produce, rather than having the, the apiary that ends up here possibly combining with this chest. Uh, just to separate things a bit. I'm going to have to make a bunch more servos here, but I'm just going to start laying these all out. Oh, we're getting there, guys. This one is a uh, common common, and all the traits are the same. Um, let's see if this one is too also common common. It's got some different traits, though. And this last guy here, cultivated common. 
So I'm going to take him out. These are cultivated forests. Uh, we'll put him here for now. Um, but I'm going to keep breeding these commons together and see if we can get lucky and just make the traits the same throughout. And for these guys, I'm going to have to go over here. I think we've got, yeah, a bunch of these. Put them up in here real quick. Get some more honey. I'm working on this over here. I've got uh, enough apiaries, I believe, for all of these um, these rocky princesses that I have pristine versions of. I got some more when I went caving some time ago. And then I'm going to transfer those over as well. Uh, but uh, rocky comes aren't the best, but we can get a ton of them. And I'll probably start using some of these for mutations as well. Um, this is going. Let's see if we've got any honey yet. There's one. Um, whoa. Having trouble with my mouse today. So let's look at the the queen, or the princess. So that's Meadows Common. Uh, let's get another one here. There's another. And we can snag that in. Grab the drone. Meadows Forest. And finally, in a moment here, we'll probably get another one, hopefully. I've got to make a ton more of these in servos, too, so finish all that up. Oof, getting lucky. I got some of these rocky combs in my inventory, too. Perfect. Okay. And this is forest meadows. Okay. These are... Eh, unimportant, basically. So I'm going to do... Oh, he's common. Random common bee. I'll have to look into that guy. Um, let's actually do that right now. We're going to grab you. Common forest. Okay. Uh, I, think, I think we need to put that here. Yeah, common forest. Um, so this guy was... Where'd he go? Where'd my princess go? Did I... Oh, I, I put him in here. Um, interesting. So this guy is Meadows Common. So I'm just going to grab a pure forest bee. Let's see, we don't have them in here yet, but I can grab one out of this. And let me turn this off, grab the honey, and we'll just do this. And if we start getting cultivated, that's okay as well, and actually possibly ideal. Cool, well, I'm gonna finish all of these up so they just go on forever. I checked these guys have started looping. Um, this guy's probably in the process, actually. Oh, no, it's not because I don't have a servo. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get on that. All right, we got all of these done here. These are all the Rockies. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, set 19, I believe, of them. And they're all going. I got three and two, I believe. Um, Rocky Combs there. And the rest probably don't have any because I just put the servos in for all of those. And they only just reset. Um, these are still going, and I... I'm going to move them over here along with my Valiant and other bees. Uh, but this this is a good sign right here. So we're going to check these guys out. Like so. I put in the honey. Uh, I need to get stuff out of my inventory. But this is a... Yeah, so this bee has all the same active and inactive traits. And if we take this out, should, will this work? Oh, it only used one, too. Um... So these are still different. We've got everything's the same here, except we've got slowest and slower. And I believe, oh no, this guy had that too. So we're just trying to get uh, one of those worked out. And that is production. So we would prefer to have slower if possible. I think I have some, what was this guy? Common forest. I guess we'll just keep, keep mixing these. And hope we, one of them will win out, but hope it's the slower one. Uh, let's check out these guys here. See what we get. We have, oh, the right amount of honey. Perfect. Uh, so this is forest cultivated. Common meadows. Meadows forest. Forest cultivated. I believe we have a, oh, pure cultivated. We'll, we'll stick with the cultivated common for now. I'm just going to stick these in here. I'll have to do some organization soon. Um, 
but let's let's stick with cultivated common and see. Hopefully we don't go to the next thing, which is noble or something. Um, I'd love to get a pure common, pure cultivated, and then just start cranking up to get a bunch of honey before we start anything else. Maybe a bunch of bees. If we go over here, we've started producing excess bees, so I might start looking to B and A and those things. Um, still getting honeycombs from these, but I have to take it out manually. Um, so hopefully we're going to transfer those over soon. Days. Still day. Cool. So, yeah, I'm going to finish getting all of those over here um, at a different line. And then um, we'll probably work on something else for the rest of the day. Uh, we can just AFK and do other things that we'll start getting all the necessary stuff we need to do more complicated stuff. Also, you can walk over these and shift over them. It's not an issue. Kind of nice. Um, but yeah, so we'll probably start getting a macerator and stuff set up. Might start doing some building, get a little bigger house. That's way too tiny. Um, oof, my render settings are way down, but that's because Feed the Beast is laggy. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that. Transfer all these guys over. Get them out of these bee houses. Is this even going? It's just slow. Or maybe he just reset. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys later. All right, so it looks like we got these guys finally finished here. They don't have the fast traits, which I think some of them do. Uh, this guy, if we check him out. He, uh, not this one. There are some that have some fast traits, and we'll worry about getting that later. Um, but right now, I think... Um, yeah, we got slower, slower. And slower, slower. Perfect. So we can just start cycling these, and I'll probably... Um, automate those as well. Cultivated is coming along. Let's see. Oh, having these is great because they produce so many of these combs. They're not great each individual comb, but there's so many of them. Um, so let's see. We need like two more. Oh, give me one. Perfect timing. Okay. So there. This is cultivated, cultivated. And... Everything's the same except we got the slowest fast. Oh, and a 2-3. It'd be nice to get fast in 3. Um, let's see about these guys. Shorter, shortest. And this guy was shorter, shorter. Um, and he's all slowest, but 2-3. And, okay, so these guys are all slowest. They're all cultivated, so I don't think we'll get fast out of this. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. We're going to do the B and A stuff to deal with that. So we can put him in, and these, I believe, shorter, shortest, and shorter, shortest. These were the exact same B, so we'll just put one of these in, and it doesn't really matter which one. We got some diligence that showed up as well. Uh oh, there's the other one, uh, but I'm not going to really go forward with the chain right now. We're going to do some other projects, uh, just updating you, and then once this guy is um, whatever, I can make it purebred. I don't really care at the moment, and I've set these up, then we'll... Um, go on and continue doing something else for the rest of the day. So I was just AFK in here, and I broke this block, and I saw Creeper walk past, so I think I left my door open. And if I break this again, he might come blow up on me. You can see him, his dot, like, right right over there on the mini-map. So I think we're going to go down and break this. I don't think he can see through all that. Can I hit him? Hello? Almost. There's a block above this. I can break this guy. I really don't want him to blow up in my house. I got a lot of chests here. But, uh, yeah. Where'd he go? Is he, is he above me now? Is that dude? You coming? Perfect. And... What? Did he spawn in here? That's very bizarre. Did he come from down here? I guess that's possible, but I'm pretty sure this is really well lit. Well, that is concerning. I have no idea where this guy came from. 
I don't have any holes in my roof. I guess maybe I should spam some torches down, but like... Concerning. Maybe I should block this off when I'm AFK next time. Uh, anyways, it looks like it's day. Uh, it's midday, too. <laughs> yeah, because like... Oh, there's another one. I just like broke the first two blocks and I saw him walk past. He didn't see me. And I then went and placed those two dirt blocks back and then set up my recording because I'm like, I might die. Okay. My volume's up a little high. I don't think that affects what you guys hear, but right now for me it's pretty loud. So I think, I think we got everything going here. This guy, oh, let me check my menu map. There's, there's a mob here. He must be in a cave. Okay. Um, right, so this guy, this guy's going. He's cycling now. I had to um, get through the last two drones because there was one drone here that, while the same as the rest of the drones, I had analyzed it um, so it doesn't stack. And here, I'm pretty sure these are um, going to cycle. And I'm just going to assume they are. There's, they were the same when I entered them. And so I'm not going to really worry about it. It should be done here. They're... Um, well, it's not going to cycle if I analyze this, so we're not going to do that. But we got fast, fast, I believe. Actually, I, I can analyze the um, queen. So let's, let's do that real quick. Yeah, fast, fast production, and then we only got the 2x2 two two fertility. I could have kept trying to do 3x3 three three because I do have some drones that have a 3, or 3, not 3x3, three three, um, 3 fertility. But right now I'm not really worrying about that. I just want to start production. So we're getting we're getting some stuff here. Um, this guy's already because these guys have that three fertility, so they fill up real quick with these. Um, wow, we almost got a stack here. This one, I guess, is looping as well. Valiant bees coming along, and we got all of these, which of course I, I have gone through actually over a stack of these combs already. There's tons of them. Um, so that's great, and I've started getting stuff here. We've got a lot. Oh, that pig. I saw it jump. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, that's going to do it for today. The episode's getting a little long here, but um, we're probably going to try to build something here. I cleared all the trees. I did get three of the ebony saplings back. Still from one tree. It's weird. Sometimes I get a ton, sometimes I get zero. Um, ooh, should check that out too. Spider, spider tree, it looks like. Um, but we'll probably do that next time, so I'll see you guys later.